it's for today. So I just want to get our levels drawn in. This is the first one on the fractional. Let's see, there's my fractional. That's the first level. We are tagging that at the moment. If I look to the left, you can see the level of um, interaction that is at this level here, which is 25 triple eight. Okay, you can see quite a few times we've used it as support, we've used it as resistance, uh, support, resistance, support, resistance, and there are a few micro levels sort of to the upside and to the downside in this zone. Okay, so you can just see, if you look to the left, you can see all of this interaction that's been around there. Okay, so that's pretty much where we are at the moment. And this is kind of an area that I'll be looking at for, for longs. So let's just get down to the levels and we'll see what you mean, what I mean. So firstly, let's do that. And I'm going to take that one further out. Right, so we have two levels that I'm interested in at the moment. The first one is right where price is now, but this is the swing high. So this is a double bottom. Okay, so typically if, you, um, if you're looking at a Bollinger, you'll more than likely see that this would be classified as a Bollinger W. In other words, this would be outside the Bollinger, this would be inside the Bollinger Bands. Um, if you look at your oscillators, you'll probably find that you've got um, diversions there as well. But uh, this is a pretty solid double bottom setup. Okay, and it's a breakout and retest. This is the second retest of that breakout. So for me at the moment, this is an area I'll be looking at longs. Okay, and we come down to the hour. You can see we have tagged both the levels pretty well. So first one is 25,948, and the bottom one here is 25,840. Those are the areas that I'm looking at for a long. So if you look at that, uh, if this was happening during a normal trading session, in other words, not the Asian session, uh, this would trigger a long for me. Okay, uh, if we just come down to 15, you'll see it even better. You'll see sort of on a level, breakthrough. And then uh, you'll see there are a couple of people that would be long here on this retest. And then immediately comes down just to trigger those stops, come to the next level. And then we start forming some structure that's quite interesting. So it's inside bar, inside bar, inside bar, um, with a pin bar, and then we're breaking away. So this, you know, this kind of setup during a normal trading session would get me long, most definitely. Okay. And um, the other thing that would maybe come into play is that bear in mind we do have a jobs number as well so jobs number is what you need to be paying attention to this afternoon so you probably find that this ranges until the jobs data comes out um, any good number is going to set us into a rally any uh, bad number may let us drop a little bit but uh, I'm not entirely convinced of that right now uh, this is a market that the feds will not let drop I think that's the bottom line. So uh, they're trying to suck everybody in to buy. And they're going to do the utmost to, to ensure that that happens. So yeah, so for me, it buy the dips. And uh, this is looking like a dip that I want to buy. I will just have a look at it during the European session. I may get in with a little nibble here before the data comes out. Or alternatively, I'll just wait and see what transpires until after the data and then make my move. But yeah. That is definitely the setup I'm looking at right now. Okay. Um, anyway, guys, there's nothing else here that I can see. Even if we do drop further down, I would still be looking for an opportunity for a long. Um, not really interested in shorts at the moment on the Dow. Okay. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. Cheers for now.